Hello, everyone. My name is Jose Vinicius. I'm very happy to present the work Learning Bipartite Graphs, Heavy Tails, and Multiple Components. This is a joint work together with my collaborators, Josh Ying and Professor Daniel Palomar. We are based in the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology in sunny, beautiful Hong Kong. This work has been accepted in NeurIP 2022. So in this work, we are interested in estimating undirected weighted bipartite graph. So simply put, a bipartite graph is a graph where the node set can be decomposed in two disjoint sets. We call, it, we call them here the set of objects and the set of classes. Another aspect that we explore in this work is the fact that we can have, for example, k-component bipartite graph. In this pictorial um, example here, we see that the graph, has, the graph is bipartite and has two components. Now, to learn a graph from data, it tantamounts to actually learning the Laplace matrix of that graph. So let's see what has been done before in the literature. So there are basically two main approaches. The first one is the so-called bipartite structure, which was proposed in NeurIP 2017. The authors proposed the following optimization program, which tries to estimate a matrix B, uh, which is close enough to a matrix A, which contain for example, similarities between the set of objects and the set of classes, as well as they account for the k-component part of the graph by adding a regularization term as, as highlighted in the objective function. Now, the main advantage of this, of this approach is that uh, we can easily derive very fast optimization algorithms. However, since it's not based in a statistical framework, it's quite difficult to, for example, expand it to different statistical models or considering, for example, statistical guarantees on the, estimating, on the estimated parameters. Now, the second approach is the so-called spectral regularization, which basically adopts a multivariate Gaussian distribution and models this multivariate Gaussian distribution as uh, the precision matrix of that distribution, actually, as a Laplace matrix of a graph. So basically, the, the optimization program that they propose contains basically two terms. The first term actually accounts for the negative log likelihood of this um, multivariate Gaussian distribution. And then the second term accounts are regularization terms that account for the, the structure. In this case, the first regularization term accounts for the uh, bipartite structure, and then the second one for the k-component structure. Now, the main advantage of this method is that it relies on a statistical framework. However, tuning these hyperparameters is quite tricky in practice. Now, our proposed approach pretty much uh, uses a student T framework because we are interested in learning graphs from data sets which contain heavy tailed events as well as outliers, for example, financial data sets. So in our optimization program, we can see that the object, objective function is actually the negative log likelihood of a student T uh, distribution. And then on the constraint, we have pretty much a constraint that binds the Laplace matrix to be a matrix of a bipartite graph, as well as a rank constraint that controls the number of components of the estimated graph. Now, to obtain a stationary point of this optimization program, we leverage uh, two optimization frameworks, the alternating direction method of multipliers and the majorization minimization. Now we present convergence proofs as well as experimental convergence results on our supplementary material. Now just a sneaky peek on the results, we consider stock market data, more precisely log returns from around 300 stocks listed in the SP500, as well as eight sector index indices from Gen 2016 to Gen 2021, and then we benchmark with the models uh, that we discussed before. Now, on the left-hand side here, we have the estimated graph by SGLA. As we can see, there are seven isolated nodes, which is not what we would expect in practice. SOBG, on the other hand, the graph in the middle, um, does not suffer from, from these isolated nodes. However, um, the, the, the accuracy is not as good as, for example, our proposed method that achieves a 97% accuracy. Now, this accuracy number is, is um, computed based on labels given by the industry standard, the so-called geeks. Now, let's see, for example, where our proposed um, 
graph diverges from the industry standard. For example, as we can see here in the uh, financial cluster, we see that ADM, which is a company that, uh, that is originally classified as consumer staples by Geek, is classified as a financial company by our, by our proposed method. Now, if we dig deeper into the fundamentals of ADM, we will see that they also engage in financial activities, such as, for example, um, commodities trading. So it makes perfectly sense that it could be also classified as a financial company. Now, this was just a sneaky peek on the result. Thank you very much uh, for listening to me. And if you want to uh, know more, please check out our GitHub repository as well as our paper. Thank you very much.